Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch as Floyd Mason. It's easy to die. Okay, so I guess I can start with this coins. This coins, one in the water. Rock, which goes left. Left. <laughs> I'll do a better job of like mapping out the coins later as well, but right now I just want to know how many are where. Um, so there's another one over here. Because there are a couple tricky ones. I believe there's actually a coin for touching that B. There's three here. Um, just keep making a save state. I don't know that I came up here before. To be honest. <coughs> I really don't think I did. Oh no, yeah. Yeah. I think the real question... Whoop, is how to get this coin over here. I might need to watch a video for it. This one. Because, like, if you go there, it's going to get you. So, I don't know. Go. I guess I want to be down there first, don't I? Do, do, do. Oops. Up here, then up here. Oops, 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 oops. Oof. When Tizzy gets rolling, he is a hard egg to stop. Here. Six already. I guess it's, it's seven. Yeah. Okay. So. Snorkel, which can be down and wait, which can be on the left. So, again, it's pretty easy to grab these two items, uh, do the jump for the coin down here. Yeah, and that needs the two items. Can move this closer. Um, a pebble, which needs to go to the right. There we 
Again, we don't want to go over too far because that trap comes down. Um, so we get the plunger, but I don't really need it right now. <clears throat> and I get the spade, which I do need to take over. So, honestly, what I'm thinking is, so there's two kind of weird things here. So get this pogo stick. Um, so which one is it that I fall off of? I think it's, I think it's here. Ah, just saved. Um, all right, let's go back up there. So I think you gotta touch that. Let's just go see the noise. I think you gotta touch that B for one. It's kind of a weird one. Oh, I guess I came from here before. That's why this one down here was kind of weird to me out. But a big thing I'm probably gonna do is take. Um, just go up here. It's probably quicker. I think I want the pebble over earlier than the than the spade. Um, I'll explain why I want some over there, but I don't need the spade for a while. So I need a couple other items before it. So. Here and the plunger I don't need, so I'll just have to come back up and get that. Because again, yeah, I mean I could not take the snorkel up here, but if I want to do this trick, then I need to. Um, so we use it off. This no, it's good we got this. Uh, you just gotta walk hard. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there we go. There's a coin from hitting him. I don't know where it went. Oh, right here. Okay. Good to know. Alright. <clears throat> so now I'm hopefully going to get to the part where the kind of the trickery is. Because one thing that this game has is it actually has a warp. And one of them seems pretty useful, and one of them doesn't. But the water is extremely dangerous. So the more time I can spend not doing it, the better. I think you want to go here. I'm trying to remember where, uh, where it is. Um, so maybe you want to drop off this side. Here. Nope. On this one. So again, I'm gonna want to get the B the first time. Where is it? I was on one of these too. Maybe you have to go down here. Uh, there's no 
don't want to make it a deck land. It's gotta be one of these. Maybe it's actually where the pogo stick is. One of these warps, yeah. Stand on the edge of them. Which one is it? Hmm, okay, let's uh, quickly look that up. Trigger and Dizzy. Whoops. Wait, what's that? Oh, there's another warp. So this time. Is there a fourth warp? What's going on? Oh my god. I would have never thought of that. Hmm. Okay. So. Let's see here. So there's actually a third warp. So that's even, that's even better. Um. It's actually much better than this warp. So one is right. Um. Here. So how do you use it? You gotta press B. That's why. So this one takes you under the water. Which again, I want to have the pogo stick because I can get the item right here. So that's the coin under the water. Ooh, my snorkel's the top item, so I'm gonna die here. Pogo stick first, then that, then the circle. Secret so warp. So again, this kind of just saves you going down here. Realistically, I'd like to not do the water at all. Um, it's just the most dangerous and slowest part. So, if I can utilize the warps, even though they take a little bit to get to, I think rather than setting up the water, uh, to be correct. Okay. Oh. Leave the pogo stick here. Um, so in the water there is the crowbar. So I actually only want one item when I go there. I just want the pogo stick. Um, and that's used, where's the crowbar used? I can't quite remember. Um, and then flame resistance, which goes to the right. Note, only. Oh, 
Snorkel and Snorkel. There's more. But you need the pebble. Ugh. So I'd probably be inclined to leave the crowbar there the first time. So I don't think I need it right away. Oh no, you, you need it right here. Hmm. Kind of a bummer. Did I save it up there? Nope. Uh, okay, so... What we actually want to do before we do this... Is go use the other one. Um, so I don't want the pogo stick yet. We'll take over two items. Just gotta figure out how to get over there. Um... I think this will get the coin over here as well. Whoops. Can I jump through there? Kind of weird you can jump through, like, some of them. Some of them you can't. Uh, okay. Well, let's try this other warp. Um, I think this other warp is going to be huge. Okay, so what we want to do is get up here. takes us all the way over here. So now, we can walk over here, we can drop the spade. Um, do we need the, yeah, we need the axe on that side. So we'll drop the spade, because it goes right here. I don't want to fall in that hole yet. Um, and then we can come back here. We'll need the snorkel. Or do we? Yeah. Yeah, got a couple. You got a couple items to bring like back and forth. So use the pebble. It brings up here. As long as you get the flippers. And then on here, there's a warp. And that puts you up here. So I could like immediately warp from here to the uh like if I did that I could get the pogo stick there and then warp and do that one. So that makes sense. That's pretty good. Okay, so that axe and the Bible. We'll have to bring it back. So I could like warp here. Um like warp back, drop stuff on the side just so it's here. Warp, get the pogo stick, warp back, then do the flame, get the flame thing, bring it up to the side, and then again warp back and bring the Bible. So that's pretty good. Um, and how I can swim. Um, so let's, I mean again, I would have liked to have it up there, but let's get the... Yeah, doing this, I mean, you might be able to almost skip, like, all of the water stuff, which would be fantastic. <clears throat> like, I'll have to ru run back down to the edge at some point, get the one right at the end, but there's that one fish that just is super in the way. Um, so, avoiding him would be amazing. Okay, so, we'll get back out here. Again, at some point I have to get the dynamite over here, but it's not a right now problem. Oop, might be too far. Um, and so we want to make sure... Whoops! Not ideal. But, survive.
guess it's kind of what you want. Um, I think I saved it right. Yeah, so let's go back here. Let's say I don't want these flippers yet. So now if I would do the warp. <clears throat> Again, I think I'm going to have to break this game into like little sections and then decide, you know, like the items that work together and decide what order I want to do them. Like, this is a lot simpler game than Wonderland. But, uh, again, just, like, being able to die makes it a lot tougher. Die so easily. Um, okay, so I want the crowbar first. There we go. That's water. <clears throat> okay, so now I get down there. The fire resistant suit goes down there. So now I can bring this Bible back. Don't remember, I feel like there's something way out here. Ah, uh, yes, the key. Which I mean, like, I can bring that back when I carry something out there. Because I think you can only carry, like, two of the items. You can't drop the items, so if they go through your stuff, then that's it. Okay. So now if we get, um, oops, we want that to be first, appear again, or was it, was another screen over? Ah, yes. Okay. Walk back over here. And again, technically then I would land up here and get the axe, which would be perfect. Um, don't need to do it now, but let's go get it. Oh, I did leave the flipper up there. Oops. Oops. I think I need... can't remember if I need anything under here. <coughs> but we'll leave the... We'll leave the... Well, no, I need the snorkel. And let's see here. So I kind of want to do that and then reset my stuff. Yeah, because I need the snorkel under here. Chest. Chest to go back to the right. And another coin. Okay. So you need the Bible to get out of here. Because um, if you don't, you get hit by the lightning. But there's another coin. So I'm almost done with the left. Okay, so now we can drop the bottle, don't need it anymore. Uh, we have the first... Oops. So that reverses your controls. Don't know how long it lasts. And... Oops. But in theory, right now, I'd have the flippers not way up here. Um... 
And I just get them and we go off to the left here. Just a left plunger too. Which means at some point I'm sure I'd be up here and I could just grab it and bring it down. It's not too far to climb up here. Still going. Can't listen to one in the water. Uh, put me back up here. 10, 11, 15, 18. Right, so here's an interesting one. It's swallowed by the big fish. Now you're in the belly. Hey, look at that. How would you know to do that? Come on. That one's a little absurd. Oh, but it fixed my controls. Okay, so now... So that's two more in the water. Three more in the water. Basically, after those two, I don't think I need flippers anymore. I mean, again, they're they're nice to have, but like getting up here is pretty sweet. But not needed. Okay, so now. Um, what we want to do. Leave those. Leave the cursed treasure. Take this down. Um oh, I want that I want that key as well. Ah, we'll leave it for a moment. Okay. Sometimes getting the stuff in the order you need is is a nuisance. Go. Down here. Let's leave the fire resistance suit for now. Whoops. <clears throat> Alright, so this first. Then that, then this. What's over here? Right, so I need the key there. So I'm gonna have to like loop back around, but oops. Don't want to make the same mistake again, put that in the bottom. This guy's kind of a pain, but just let him swim off stream or screen. Pop. And again, like bringing flippers down here would be nice, but. This part's kind of a nuisance, but you just have too many items you got to take in the hole, and you need the snorkel, so you don't, then you can only bring out like one item at a time. Alright, let's take him as cursed treasure. Basically, the big part of it is you gotta get him four items. Go, get the boat. So, I'll have to map out some getting more than one item. So, we the key, which is on the right. The boat, which is on the right. You can lock. You can lock the game. Um, 
Okay. I think I've basically seen everything, if I recall. So... Well, let's... I don't quite remember what's down with this. Let's just go down here. The spade and the snorkel. items. So we got the chest on the right. So this is item one. And then brandy on the right, which needs the key. So now I can jump through fire. So key gets me in there, that just gets me brandy and maybe a coin. I can't remember. Oh, right. So I want nothing to be my top one. So the diamond is down here. So that's a weird one. You gotta stop holding left as soon as you come out of there or you die. Once I get past here, so here, like, what I'd have to do, I think, is, <clears throat> like, at some point I need to put the fire resistance suit and the key down here. Uh, and I have to bring down the snorkel, and I'm going to fall in the old pit, so it's going to take me two goes. Um, but, if I get them, if I get, if I take one down, then leave and get the dynamite. And then I come down again with the other one. I can leave the key and the fire suit and come out with the brandy and the diamond and still have my snorkel. Um, because I don't need this anymore, so I don't care. Um, that would be the brandy. And then, I just need to get the bag of stuff on the other side, so that's it. So, yeah, I, in theory, can just keep sneaking around and not going through the water. It's a little more tedious, but... Again, like, I'll kind of show you. Uh, um, I'll show you the main problem with doing it uh, the other way. <clears throat> but yeah, I think if you warp to, like, this spot twice, but then you just keep warping between the other two, they're not that bad to get to. And avoiding this fish coming up. This fish right here because he's in the way but he's hard to predict where he is so just going around him is so much easier using the warps like it's faster like look at all the time i'm just waiting like maybe once maybe but i really don't think so because i mean again doing that the thing with the warps too um i'll have to find the rest of the coins because they could be like anywhere um yeah, cause, you know, then I'd get the dynamite, I'd warp back here. Um, oh, that was probably one. There you go. Okay, so all the green bees are coins. It's good to know. I think once I clicked on a tree, yeah. So there's one in the trees as well. So I'll have to just make a list of where they all are. That'd be too bad. I mean, I already have 24. <clears throat> so, I'll just... I'll just go around and click on every tree, or or just watch a video. Um, oh, I can't put down the cursed treasure. Why not? Oh, I can't be on the screen with the cursed treasure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please click to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and come by Twitch under Floyd Mason to join my live streams.